In this video, we are going to learn about interface of Unreal Engine 4. To make our work more comfortable, I suggest you to learn how to work with this window. Window of projections. If you want to turn the camera, you need to press and hold the right button of your mouse. Like this. And if you want to move along the scene, hold the right button of your mouse again. And like in the games, with W, A, S, and D are the buttons for going forward, back, left, and right. If you want to go up, Hold the right mouse button again. And press E. Press Q for going down. Or you can look down and go forward. Okay, you can change moving speed here. It is 4 by default. Let's change it for 1, for example. It will be very slow. It is useful sometimes, for instance, when you work with tiny objects. And vice versa, when your scene is too big, like the whole city. You increase the speed to 8, for example. Let's leave it 4 for now. By the way, you can zoom in and zoom out with the wheel, but it is a bit harshly. You can pause my video and practice a little bit. Are you done with your practice? If not, you can pause again. Ok, let's continue. We will start from here. As any other program, it has file tab. You can save, create files here, and so on. Save current, save current as, save all levels, open asset. And these are related to projects, but we are not going to use it often, because these options are out of this course. Here are recent projects. I think you won't have anything here. Exit is the same with the closing the window. The next is edit. Here is undo, copy, paste and so on, like in 3D Studio Max or in Photoshop. You can select an object, copy and paste it. Edit the preferences. We don't need it now. Project settings. The same menu, but with different categories. We don't need it too. And plugins, which we don't use. I haven't ever used them. The so next, Windows. If you accidentally close any window, this one, for example, go to Windows, World Outliner, now is here. Layers, Levels, and if you forgot or lost something, you can make reset layouts.
Please, keep in mind that in this case you need to restart Unreal Engine. Okay. Help. Here's documentation, explanations of some Unreal Engine terms, and so on. Forums, credits, these all things are not very important actually. It is rarely when someone uses it. Personally, I don't. Okay, next. Modes appears as in 3D Studio Max, a panel to create some basics. For example, lights, cubes, and etc. It is an engine for games, first of all, so it has additional triggers and things like ambient sound and so on. The next step is paint. You can draw upon objects with different colors if settings of object allowed. This object, for example, wasn't set up like this, so we can draw upon it. Also, this information is out of this course, too. So, landscape. As you can understand, we use it to create a landscape, but we are not going to discuss it. Next is foliage. Using it, you can draw grass or something. For example, like this. Let's create a simple landscape. Create. Let's wait a little. Here it is. Now go to foliage. Let's take a stone, for example. You can just watch without repeating after me. We can put stones everywhere, like this. You can use trees, grass, or whatever instead of stones. I hope it's clearer now, so let's move on. Delete a landscape. Next is geometry editing. It's related only to the objects that were created in a real engine. Not imported from 3D Studio Max. You can take an object from here and edit it, like this. Edit apply, like this. Let's delete this object. Here you can find different categories, like lightning, cinematic, and so on. Cinematic is for cameras, visual effects. Here are the things like post-editing, reflections, geometry, volumes. Volumes are for installing different events to improve light map calculations. To increase in some places and vice versa to decrease in other places. All classes. Here are all objects. The next is this panel. This one is to save the scene. Same with that one. Source control. You can use it if you work with several people and you have one project. You can use this button to synchronize all files. 
Content is a button that shows you content browser if it's turned off. Marketplace is a shop we have visited. If you press Marketplace, you will be directed to that market. Next, Settings. Let's take a look at this one. Engine Scalability Settings. All is epic by default. You can change it. These all are about quality of picture that you see. Others uh, should stay as they are. The so next are blueprints. In this project, we are going to use it only once when we will create a clock. And we are going to use cinematics. We will need to add a video in the scene and a build. We use it to bake light maps. We can set a quality here. Lightning quality. Preview is the fastest mode with the lowest quality. Production is the highest one. Obviously, it takes plenty of time. When you press play, it starts. Sometimes we run into objects. Press escape to exit. What about launch? If you press it, it runs like a separate application. I recommend you not to press it because it takes too much time. The next thing we will discuss is this panel. I recommend you to turn on this source panel. Using it, you can easily find some inner folders without wandering in each folder. Here's an import button. We use it to import our FBX files. Actually, it is possible to import a plenty of file types. Save all. This one is the same with that one. While using filter option, you can filter objects which ones should be shown and which one are needed. For example, material, static meshes, textures, and so on. The next thing is World Outliner. It is a hierarchy of objects in 3D Studio Max. Here you can select objects. If you encounter some difficulties with finding objects around the scene, you can type its name here, for example, chair. Uh, or you can do the same with categories. For example, you want to see only static meshes. Type it here. And here you can see all of them. Here is an additional tab details. Here you can see details of selected objects, location, rotation, scale, and so on. In Unreal Engine, unlike 3D Studio Max, it shows us 1 instead of 100%. 1 is equal to 100 here actually. And mobility. You can change object properties from static to movable. For example, you may go to the game and click it, and it, for example, flies away. For this project, we will use only static. Static mesh, you can choose one object, but change its static mesh to another one. 
for example like this you need to change its material then and apply so control Z control Z control Z it was for illustration and these settings we will discuss along the way of our course it seems like I explained everything for now and I think I can finish right now oh wait I can't I forgot about these buttons you can see FPS here frames per second you can change a field of view 90 degrees by default and you can turn game view on it removes all additional icons and makes the scene look as it will look like in the game or you can use the hotkey it's G also you can create a camera here now I will delete it what's next high resolution screenshot but we won't use it because we have f9 hotk for it what about layouts we won't use them actually because we're gonna work in one window and now perspectives Here are different options, top and so on, like in Max. Also, you can change the view mode. Lit or unlit, it is diffuse of colors without lighting and shadows. Let's go back. Show, here you can show or hide some objects. Grid, for example. static meshes and here are advanced settings which we are going to discuss during our course and here are rotations and moving functions select an object now you can move it You can select and rotate. The hot key is E, and for that is W. Scale. You can change its size. Here you can change to local mode. Gizmo. Also, you can enable or disable snapping to the grid while moving it becomes more precise or you can change value here not 10 but 1 or 500 ok let's try 100 because 500 is too much this is a rotation you can increase or decrease its value too and this is scale settings the hotkey is R that's it for now we considered everything I think practice a little bit so see you in the next video